We're here burning the midnight oil. Okay, let's get into it. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's been a long night. Like I said, I'm burning the midnight oil. Boom! We have no time, as you motherfuckers know. Um, let's break down our first round pick, Mozzie Smith. Let's get right into it. Here we go. All right, man. So, first round pick, Maisie Smith, number 26 overall. Okay, so the Cowboys made the pick. There was all kinds of rumors as to what this would be. Sam Laporta was one of them. I absolutely did not want this. So when this was announced, I processed it. I love it. And I think this is going to help out the Cowboys a whole lot. How is he going to help out the Cowboys? Okay, first off, this guy is number one. One of the freak of freaks. You know, as you can tell here, looking at he made number one in Bruce Feldman's freaks list. Every year, Bruce Feldman comes out with this freaks list, right? And... Um, He's on there for a whole lot of reasons. Uh, he's strong. He's a physical player. He's good against the run. He has a quick first step in, can get off the ball really quickly. That's what. That's one thing I do like about him. He's, he's a solid tackler, and I think that the, his his main ability is to get in the, into the backfield. How is he going to help out the defense? Really, right? Um, it's simple. You know, it, it's simple as 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 ever. Cowboys have needed help here in the middle of the defense. For years, you know, and the Cowboys have have tried. You know, they've tried with third rounders, second rounders, um, guys that uh, just haven't panned out. You know, Tristan Hills, Navelle Gallimore. I think they finally said, "Enough is enough. Let's somebody somebody in here that can clog this thing up, so they won't run on us anymore." Uh, specifically, you know, he's going to help the run defense. All right, he, he's a run defense specialist. He's he's not a pass rushing kind of guy. He's not a guy that's going to bring you a bunch of sacks, okay? He's, he's a one-tech. Now, he can give you some pressure along the way. You know, we, we always heard that with uh, under Rod Marinelli, and it, it's, it rings true here with Mozzie Smith as well. You know, he's going to stop the run, but he will give you some pressure along the way. Um, that quick first step, um, I really like it. Uh, one thing for me, though, sometimes, like I said before, Sometimes he runs a little hot and cold, okay? But uh, I think under Dan Quinn, that's the key equalizer. I think under Dan Quinn, he's going to get the most out of him. He's going to be making plays in the backfield. Um, he's going to solidify the interior of this defense and stop the run. I mean, I can't say it enough. He, he's, a, he's a run stuffer, okay? What else is he going to be able to do for the Cowboys? I mean, there's, there's a whole lot of other things. This guy is well-faceted. Um, like I said, he can have some pass rush. I think he can develop that, right? Uh, he's going to take on the double teams. He's going to free up other defensive linemen to make plays. So you're going to see more plays probably out of the Marcus Lawrence, Sam Williams, and the Lion of Lions, Micah Motherfucking Parsons. Motherfuckers out there. Motherfucker. All right, let's get that right. All right. So that's important, man. Getting the double teams. Opening it up for your other players. He's going to help the overall pass rush for the Cowboys defense. All right. Cowboys were able to make sacks without him. Now imagine inserting him into this defense with a rotation with Jonathan Hankins. I mean, the sacks are good. They should. You know, the sacks should come in waves. Um, the way the league is playing now, they're, you know, they're still playing a lot, of, a lot of more of this college type of offenses, right? So I think a big part of why they brought him in here, you know, um, Mazda Smith is part of this new type of defense where they're able to read the play action a, a lot better. Okay, so Smith's presence in the middle of the defense is going to help improve the Cowboys' play action defense. You know what I mean? So linebackers aren't going to immediately going to have to trigger to their gap whenever there's a run action. It's going to allow them to stay home and defend the pass. You know what I mean? So I like that. This is going to make it more difficult for the opposing offenses to run play option fakes. You know, your uh, your run pass. So uh, that's huge. That's huge. For, for a long time, the Cowboys, you know, they, they really didn't know. You know, they were biting, they were biting on it. They were biting on the, pla the play action. Now with Mozzie, he's going to help 
solidify the play action defense. So key, key part of what Mozzie Smith is going to do here for the Cowboys defense. I'm pumped, man. Overall, Mozzie Smith, he's, he's a good fit for this defense. You know, he's going to be a valuable addition to the team. Uh, I'm glad to have him. I think he's a, he's a good addition here, at, especially at 26. You know what I mean? And to be quite honest, I think we're going to end up having the better defensive tackle here versus like Jalen Carter, who has big questions on work ethic, sloppiness, and this sorts of things. So um, I'm pumped, man. I really am. I really do like this pick. It's going to open up, you know, the defense for a lot of the other defensive linemen. The play action defense is going to be on par. It's going to be where it needs to be, especially with Dan Quinn leading the way here. So, guys, let me know what you think about Mozzie Smith. Let me say that again because we're talking about Smith, and you know how I like to say that shit. Let me know what you guys think about Mozzie Smith. <laughs> All right. In the comments, let me know what you think about the pick, and we'll catch you for the next one, guys. Peace out, everybody.